In this video, we'll explore how you can build a positive Remind culture at your school or district using default class settings. As an administrator, you can now set expectations for class communication across your organization by making intentional choices about how participants in a class see and message each other. With these settings, you can confidently encourage safe communication on Remind for your entire community. Let's explore each setting and how you can determine what makes most sense for your community. First up is class visibility. With class visibility, you can determine whether or not people can find a class by searching for the teacher's name. This also includes the ability to see classes that a teacher owns on their Remind profile. If your organization is not rostered through an SIS sync or you're encouraging users to join on their own, we recommend keeping class visibility on for easier access. Turning class visibility off means that people will not be able to find classes by searching for the class owner's name or see it in their profile. For rostered organizations who automatically create classes and enrollments, turning class visibility off may be a good option. Next up, decide if you would like to require approval to join classes that are linked to your organization. Note that anyone added through rostering or anyone who has been added directly by the class owner will be automatically added to classes. When this setting is turned on, class owners will be required to approve or deny participants who request to join their class. If your organization is not rostering, you may consider having requests to join off during back to school time to lighten the load of your teachers as parents and students join their classes for the new year. You can always come back and change the setting at a later date. Last up for default class settings is to set a preference for participant messaging, which determines how people can message each other in a class. When participant messaging is turned on, participants can message anyone in the class. With the role-based option, participants can only message others with the same role, for example, student to student or parent to parent. This could be a great option to foster student collaboration on projects or parent collaboration on school events. Turning participant messaging off will only allow class participants to message the class owner. Before setting your default class settings, check in with the rest of your leadership team about which settings best match your goals with Remind. To access or update your default class settings, log into your administrator account and head to the Settings tab. District administrators can set defaults for all classes linked to the district. First, select whether you would like class visibility on or off. Next up, Turn Request Approval to Join on or off. And lastly, select which participant messaging option makes the most sense for your organization. Here, you can choose to apply these new settings to all existing classes linked to the organization. When you check this box, all class owners will be notified about their updated settings. Otherwise, anytime someone creates a new class that is associated with your organization, they will have your updated default class settings. Once set, school leaders can view district recommendations and make school-specific updates if needed. Teachers will also be able to view class setting recommendations for the settings tab from each class. To meet the unique needs of each class, teachers can update their class settings at any time. For example, a teacher may want to keep participant messaging turned off for their first period English class, but have role-based messaging for their speech and debate club to encourage student-to-student -student communication and coordination. That wraps up our video. Thanks for watching.